friend, welcome. If we haven't met yet, I'm Jen. I'm a part-time online clothing reseller, which means I go to thrift stores, I buy used clothes, I list them on eBay and Poshmark, and then sell them hopefully for a profit. Today is Tuesday, October 15th, and I have six items that I sold over the past 24 hours. My gross sales amount is $111.27. That's um, really low for especially six items. My average sale price in this past 24 hours is only $18.54. It usually hovers around 24. So anyway, I thought I would play a fun little game called Would I Do This Again? <laughs> because sometimes I make bad choices. This is a little vintage clutch. It's leather. <clears throat> it says genuine leather. Genuine. I don't think I've ever said it that way. Genuine leather made in Hong Kong. That's all the tag says. Um, so vintage clutch can be worth worth a lot of money. Not this one particularly. Uh, the average sale price is seventy dollars and sixty five cents. However, there's some really high end stuff in there. And this particular style, plus it had some flaws. I listed it. I don't actually remember what I listed it for, but somebody offered me, actually, that's not true. I think I listed it for $20 and <laughs> I sent out $20 offers on Poshmark or 20% off offers, sorry. And so that was $16. I'm pretty sure that's what happened. Anyway, it sold in a month. I spent $2 on it from my old favorite thrift store and makes my profit ten dollars and forty seven cents um i don't know if i would do this one again probably not i don't know enough about purses in general and vintage purses i think i would prefer to have like a brand on it although sometimes i don't think brand matters in vintage items i also probably would have looked it over better uh just knowing it had some marks on it and stuff that I just didn't see in the store. So, all right, these I'm unfortunately gonna have to lint roll real fast, but I can just see it. I should have done it before I started the video, but I didn't. These are just a pair of vintage mom jeans. They are the brand LA Blues. Um, so, Sometimes I get a little carried away with the vintage stuff and I go, oh, it's vintage. I'll buy it. <laughs> well, that's not always, I don't know. I did early on when I started reselling, I've been reselling for three years now. When I first started selling, I did find some vintage jeans like this and sold really fast for a fair amount of money, like in the $30 range. Um, but right now I just, I don't really know what I'm looking for when it comes to vintage jeans. I do know this is like the exact style of jeans that my daughters wear, of <laughs> teenage daughters, and they love this style of jean, but yeah, I don't know. Anyway, I looked up vintage black mom jeans. Um, I added black because these are black in color and not blue jeans so um the average sale price was $22.12 which is okay it's only a 7% sell through rate and that's not really good um I did pay almost three dollars for these two dollars and ninety cents at a local thrift store had them listed for I probably originally listed them for thirty dollars and then I've just come down in price as I've relisted them over the last several months. I've had them for seven months, so. Um, I relist approximately every 60 days an item. I'm not perfect at it, so that's why I say approximately. And let's see. So they were listed for 30 or for 26, sorry. Someone asked me a question and actually they had asked it a while ago and I had missed the question. I'm not, 
I don't get like the comments and stuff on Poshmark. I think it's probably because I don't have notifications sent to my phone um, because I don't want them sent to my phone. <laughs> so, but somehow I just, the like comments on the items don't show up in very easily anyway in the, um, the like news section. I don't know. Anyway, they'd asked me a question. I didn't see it. I find they asked it again and I did see it and answered. And then they sent me an offer for 18 and I accepted. So after my fees and my cost of goods, and I don't have any shipping costs because I don't generally do uh, shipping discounts on Poshmark. My profit is $11.54. And I do this again. And I buy these again to sell. I don't think I would. <laughs> I just, like I said, I don't feel like I know enough about vintage things. And maybe they would have sold better on like Depop or something like that. But I haven't had much success with Depop, so I don't know <laughs> that that's even the case. I don't think I would buy these again. But I think these are these are going to Brooklyn, New York, so probably they're going to be cute on whoever's wearing them. Okay, these are a pair of running shorts. They're the brand Brooks, like the like the shoes. And I remember buying them and seeing the sell through rate and being like shocked that they the sell through rate was so high. And then I got an offer, like a low offer on them pretty quickly, I think, after I listed them. And I checked the comps again and decided not to take the offer for whatever reason. And then I relisted them and checked the comps and changed the way I checked the comps and realized that I was doing something terribly wrong. And I will be very more specific here. Actually, I think I'm going to take a sweater shaver to this. I'll go ahead and finish talking about them, but they just have a little bit of pilling and I think it's going to come off really easily with a sweater shaver. Okay, so the thing to note is these are women's running shorts, not men's running shorts. So I think when I looked them up, all I looked up was Brooks running shorts. Well, if I add women to that, the average sale price is $13.67 with less than 1% sell-through rate, which is terrible. <laughs> um, absolutely terrible. So, um, yeah, the, I had them listed for $20. I sent a 20% off offer and that was accepted for $15.97. They paid a total of $22.52. I paid a dollar for them at my new favorite thrift store four months ago. That makes my profit profit $13.05. Okay, here's the difference. Men's Brooks running shorts have an average sale price of $22.51, which isn't super high, but when you're buying things for $1, 58% sell-through rate. Huge difference. I mean, that's incredible. Um, so I don't... <laughs> I don't know if I, I don't remember if I looked up men specifically, like if I was just incorrect in what I thought they were, or if I didn't specify gender. Anyway, <laughs> I would not buy those again. No, men's, absolutely. Oh no, sorry, I'm gonna get choked here a second. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, this is your reminder to hydrate. Drink some water, it's good for you. <clears throat> or, uh, you know, soda or tea or coffee or whatever. That's good for your soul. Can be anyway. All right, this shirt is an American Eagle patchwork flannel. And it does have a detachable hood. So this was in a video that I posted when I was on my trip. 
I think like my work with me video. I think I don't remember because I recorded them a while before I left. Um, so <clears throat> sorry, I'm like still choked. <clears throat> I'll get there. After it posted, the video posted, I, someone commented like, don't undersell that American Eagle. I sold one for $75 on Poshmark. And I was like, whoa. And I certainly have made mistakes on things multiple times. So I haven't responded to the comment, but I did make note of it. And I ended up taking it off of eBay, but it had an offer on Poshmark and so it didn't automatically delist it. And I didn't go in and change anything to, to be able to delist it. Um, and I just kind of forgot about it, but I did go in and look at comps again. And I looked on eBay and the comps were not great. And I looked on Poshmark and I didn't, never did find the $75 one that they said they sold. Uh, maybe I didn't look up the right words. I also think Poshmark search can be wonky sometimes. So um, maybe that was the situation. But if that was you, let me know. <laughs> um, anyway, I did go back in and I just didn't see the comps matching that. So in fact, there were none listed at all on eBay. I do all my comps through eBay if you are unfamiliar with my channel and what I'm talking about. Um, I list, I look them up uh, through the research product research tool on my eBay seller hub. I, based on what was listed on eBay, I decided to list it, I think I listed it at 25 and then the 20% offer on Poshmark was $20 and that's what, that's what it sold for. The two, there were two that were listed. What you doing, bud? <laughs> um, squeaky door, sorry. Uh, it's funny, a couple people commented yesterday about my squeaky door and I never noticed it. I'm so sorry <laughs> if it bothers you. It's one of those things that's just like a part of my life that I'm like deaf to, I guess. Okay. The two that were listed, one was listed for 20, one was listed for 27. So I think I just went based off of what size mine was. And I listed it three weeks ago. I got it at a free sale that I made a donation to. So everything ended up being 50 cents. My profit on that is $15.74. Based on the fact that um, it sold so fast and even with a higher or with a lower price than $75, that would have been amazing. Uh, I still made a pretty decent uh, profit on that pretty quickly. I think if I found something like that similar again in the, you know, two dollars or under category, I would probably buy that one again. All right, this shirt. I get so distracted by random things. Okay, here we go. Uh, this shirt was on its way out. I have a bin of items that I pulled from my inventory that I haven't actually taken out of my stores yet. And I need to do that. <laughs> I do that not because I take stuff out of inventory because I run out of room. I just don't have the space to keep things in forever. I wish I did because I took the time to take the photographs and stuff. So I know that there are people who leave their stuff in forever and I, I think that's phenomenal, but I don't have the space for it. And it kind of makes me feel good to like go through and purge and get rid of things that aren't selling. So, but this I was really sad when it didn't sell. From here, I mean, it's just like a polka dot t-shirt, but oh my goodness, look how cute that is. With that back panel, so cute. It's Chico's. It's a size zero. So I have to work my way backwards. Three is an extra large, two is a large, one is a medium, so zero is a small. Um. In Chico's, they have vanity sizing. 
So Chico's Tops, just very broad search. Chico's Tops have an average sale price of $13.61 and a 10% sell through rate. Chico's, that's okay for me. I buy it a lot because I find it a lot. But I try to only buy twos, threes, and fours. So I don't know. This one was too cute though. I did buy it 19 months ago, which is too many months in my opinion for my stuff. <laughs> so I paid $1.21. I got an offer for $12.50, which based on the comps is great. Uh, so I took it and, you know, I was going to pull it out of my inventory anyway. So that's phenomenal. They paid a total of $19.75 with shipping because they bought it on eBay. And I paid $1.21. I don't know if I said that. I do remember that being a 75% off day at a local thrift store here in town. And so, yeah, so that makes my profit $10.35. Um, I'm for sure going to stop buying Chico Smalls. There's just too many. And I think even in something that's super cute like that or something that <laughs> I hate when people say more substantial. Like, what does that mean? <laughs> um, but, but in something that would be like maybe a coat or uh, something with really nice um, materials, even then, I don't think I'm going to be buying zeros or even ones in Chico's just because they just don't sell that well for me. Chico's in general, I'm going to start looking and making sure that there's, um, you know, just more than one thing going for it, you know, <laughs> making sure that there's good materials or, um, Chico's tends to to sell if it's got like a kind of a funky pattern. All right, this is Pendleton, which is another brand that I just like buy without thinking and I should not have bought this. Um, I'm giving away my answers before I even go through it. This is just a Pendleton cardigan and my daughter wore it for a little bit and then she decided she was over it, which was fine. Um, this has been listed for 10 months, so she must have worn it last fall. The average sale price for a Pendleton sweater is $28 with a 15% sell-through rate, but most Pendleton sweaters are wool, and this one is not. Um, I forgot to look to see if it was. I think it's cotton, but I don't remember for sure. Anyway, this sold for $15. Um, I had, yeah, I'm glad it sold. I'm going to be very particular about Pendleton. It's going to have to be wool and probably vintage and this is tricky right now. Okay, there we go. <laughs> All right, I got it under control. <clears throat> Yeah, $15. I only spent 67 cents on it at a bag sale at a Salvation Army rummage sale. Um, we don't have a Salvation Army store in our town, but we do have a church that runs a rummage sale quarterly, I think. And it's always really cheap. They even raise their prices and it's still really cheap. <laughs> Anyway, uh, my profit is $10.87, so yeah, I'm going to be really more particular. So I'm curious your thoughts. Uh, would you have bought the things that I bought? Um, do you buy the things that I buy? Do you have things that when you're packing them up, you're like, why did I even buy this? <laughs> I don't know. Uh, maybe it's just me. But here's the thing, I sold what, six items today, I think? And five of them, I said I wouldn't do it again. Yet, those items made me $72 in profit and two cents. So, I mean, there's that. And if I had not listed them, not taken them, or had taken them out of my inventory already, then maybe I wouldn't have made $72 today. I don't know, I can't say that for sure, but just something to think about. 
<laughs> anyway, um, yeah, I'm curious if you have some would I do that again moments. Maybe it's in a good way. When you're good, like I would definitely do that again moments. I would love to hear those too. All right. That's all for me. Make sure you like the video. Subscribe if you haven't already. Make sure, I don't know, make sure you have a great day. How about that? <laughs> I don't know where my brain was going. It was going somewhere. Um, yeah, subscribe if you haven't already. I think I already said that, but I do these ship with me videos every day to show what a part-time reseller sells on a regular basis. So sometimes they're low sales, but they still make me $72, which is, that's pretty great in my opinion. All right. Thanks so much for joining me. I, I will see you soon.